You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to episode 16 of the Clock Cleaners podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're going to be talking about uh, the future oil tycoons. Yeah, sure. Does that work? <laughs> That's fine. Well, there No, in. we should talk about the Parts Unknown show. Yeah. That is being he- uh, where it is being held. Yeah, funny enough, it's not even the next show. Yeah, <laughs> and that's, I don't know, that's really been bothering me a lot, is that they've been promoting the hell out of Crown Jewel, mm-hmm. and they're making me care less and less about evolution, and well, I'm going to it, well, or we're going here's, to here's, it. Here's the thing, and we talked about this on a previous episode, where you're, you can't, you're not excluding anybody by pushing one over the other, because you're not having the same people go to both things. So that's the one okay part about pushing them both simultaneously. Right. And how the men always Mm -hmm. have more of the show anyway. So they're just doing business as usual without it feeling like the women, despite the fact that they're not going, are getting excluded from Crown Jewel. Yeah. Because that's how it feels most of the time anyway. I guess that's true. But the problem, well, I think my biggest problem is that what they've been portraying is I don't really give a shit about any of the things that they're doing with the women on the main roster at Evolution. Uh, don't care about Ronda versus Nikki. Um, unless Nikki takes the title. Well, here's the thing. And I was thinking about it. Nikki is probably the best opponent for Ronda right now because you don't want her to look bad and you don't have a problem with Nikki getting beaten up as it's a bad true. guy. It's true. Because she she's not going to lose anything from doing that. Whereas if you put up against like Sasha or Bailey and they get destroyed, which is inevitably what's going to happen to Ronda's next opponent anyway, it's just going to continue to happen. Yeah. So, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Yeah, like, yeah. Th- that would hurt them a lot more than it's going to hurt Nikki. Right. Because Nikki's kind of just kind of mostly to put people over, and since she's a bad guy, if she does do something to win, yeah. Like I would imagine there's going to be some shenanigans with Bree. Probably. Um, but she's still gonna lose. Mm-hmm. But um, don't really care about the old ladies coming back. Oh, granted, they're the same age as Mickey, pretty much. Oh, Mickey's... you're talking about Lita and yeah. No, they're both older than Mickey. Yeah, uh, yeah, fair enough. But they were in the same era. Uh, I think Mickey started wrestling like two years after Trish or something like that. No, she's she or she earlier. debuted in like 2003. Yeah. Well... Yeah, her, I don't her, remember where, when big... she wrestled in TNA. Well, I think that was after it, wasn't it? Ma- no, I thought I'm it was pretty before. sure she left. Dude, she no, yeah, she left. Yeah, I, I knew yeah, she yeah, left. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think she that there, she started. Think in she, the no, I'm pretty sure she started there as Alexis Lurie. Oh, okay. But anyway, then you know better than um, I do. I don't know they, the whole thing. I guess just since it got made into a tag match, uh-huh. it just doesn't. I don't know. It's just really not doing anything. The promo with Alexa was awful. Oh, uh, the one on Raw. Yes, you mean? it was awful. Just the back and forth was awful it was very it was very childish and now we're getting a battle royal which we all expected and now we have to sit or at least thank god it's only one more week i of was them throwing them over the top rope yeah i was hoping it's gonna be a royal rumble instead of a battle royal yeah but something. at the same time the battle royal is gonna be over a lot quicker than a yeah royal rumble no i know so um it kind of makes sense and we did get to see Corey the re- wilson's coming back and apparently ivory and um and Molly Holly will also be returning. Yeah, that's not a surprise. So, um, we really should have gotten Tamina versus Naya. Uh, the Oos versus Oos match. That's it. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Since we did see the return of Tamina. Yeah. On so, Raw. I mean, I guess what we're going to assume is that Big Show and Tamina got traded for each other. I guess you can, you can <laughs> say that. Doesn't mean anything. No, I know it doesn't. But, uh, but yeah. The, the whole thing. You're right. They didn't really... They're not putting emphasis on any story. SmackDown. Line. One. Yeah, just... One just, match. Just, Becky and Charlotte. Just that. And that's been the the one feud that has overshadowed a lot on SmackDown. But, to be fair, that's the only match they're going to have with on SmackDown. I know. So... But it's... It, I just... I don't know. Yeah. It's just underwhelming. Yeah. That's it. I mean, and I'm happy to be seeing the may young final classic that's probably the one match that i'm actually looking forward well, to. well see that's the thing though i think the evolution pay-per-view is more focused on the future than it is on oh, the present yeah <laughs> and the past well <laughs> but well that's the difference though because that's honoring past no people. i know but that's the whole you're point not gonna evolution, push but you're not gonna past, push past people though oh i know so that's the thing 
You think? Uh, no, they're not going to win. <laughs> you don't but, think Trish and Lita are going to win? No, that's what I meant. I thought uh-huh. you. Meant, I thought you meant that uh, Alex and Mickey. They're not going to win, obviously. Mm-mm. Although I think that the reason why they're doing a tag match is because Alexa might still so, not be yeah. 100%. Because mm-hmm. she still hasn't wrestled in two months. No, yeah. So I mean, granted, that wasn't much different than her title reign. So no. she wrestled like that's, that's once fair. a month. Yeah. Um, but that and I think the NXT UK Women's Championship will be defended. Mm. The I thought NXT... it would be announced or made there. Oh, is has it, there been a? I don't. I don't think so. Well, they started the new sh- the new show debuted last night. Yes. I don't know. But I don't, I don't I know. Would, I haven't. I would imagine very much like they did with SmackDown. They wait until Til it's a, like a pay per view to make a champion. Makes sense because that's what they did with Becky and um, Heath Slater and Rhino. Oh yeah, they didn't win their titles until Backlash. That's right. But yeah, no, that I am not not sure about. I, I would imagine that's what they're going to do. I don't know. Um. But then again, you know, like I said, we're going to it, so I'm going to be looking at things a little differently rather than if I was just sitting home and watching it. And it's be like, true. Ah, whatever. Yeah, because there's a lot of although although in the past there's been a lot of pay per views where we go like this isn't going to be any good. It's true. And then we end up being completely wrong. That is true. And, so you know that is best case scenario. It's true. Um, all right, so let's let's talk about the happy haps on Raw. Well, what are those? The, the I don't big, know, I was the, counting my change while I was watching Raw. <laughs> yeah, I guess I can't really blame you. So basically, the big thing that came out right. of it... And, and I'm not even sure I'm on board with this, but go go ahead. Okay, so the entire night, they're teasing Dean turning on Seth and Roman. Mm-hmm. Fine, whatever. Uh, it was rumored, um, so I guess it's not a huge surprise that this is the way they seem to be going. Um, and then they have part three the third six-man tag they've had in yes. two weeks um, and uh, for the main event. And during the match, I think Seth, like, nailed Dean in the back. Well, he got pushed into him. Oh, I think okay. Dolph pushed okay. him, whoever. And then Dean kicks Seth to go for a, uh, dirty, a dirty Deeds. deeds. But Dolph jumps on his back, stopping him for whatever reason. That makes no sense. Mm-hmm. It'd make more sense if Roman, like, grabbed him. But whatever. Yeah. Um, and then, so, it's like, oh, it's, Dean's done for now, supposedly. Right, okay, right. He's, this he's, is it. This is the snapped, end of the He's had enough. Um, and then, I think, Drew accidentally Claymore's brawn knocks him out of the ring, allowing the Shield to hit a triple power bomb on uh, Dolph. They get the win. They go back to, to the ramp like nothing happened. They're all smiles. And oh, stuff. yeah, everybody was. It, it was. it was portrayed poorly. Because of the fact that Dean went from being like done yeah, yeah, to, yeah. to being fine. Mm-hmm. So they so should have stupid. They should have had a little more um like hesitance in the way he portrayed it. But then again, at the same time, Dean's really bad at portraying emotion. Cause like he like a lot for example, a lot of the times when he does the like getting almost getting counted out stuff, right. he goes from being dead to, <laughs> to being in back in the ring and wow know, very so i know it's meant to like add suspense but mm-hmm. it just the way he portrays it it's not great not good um so they go up i'm like it's a little too early for the show to end i right. guess something's gonna happen he's pretending to be fine i guess at the ramp and then they cut back to the ring braun is all pissed off and then he starts beating up Dolph. Dolph. he hits him with power slam and then he turns around goes for drew and drew claymores him again Yep. So now it looks like Drew is uh, no longer friends with Braun. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I don't know. It, it seems as if this whole storyline with the Shield versus Braun and his and company right. is just to make it so that Drew seems like a more legitimate contender. Right. That makes sense? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So... And I am 100% on board with them, you know, pushing putting Drew. the reins on Drew, so to speak, uh-huh. letting him, I guess, be to his full potential. Yeah. But it's going to come at the expense of Braun. And week after week, Braun has been getting less and less pops. It just seems like, I don't know, Braun hasn't... Are you suggesting that it's going to be Braun versus Drew next? Probably. It's possible. Because Braun's not going to win the Universal title. No, 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 no. So, 
That's that's my only fear in the whole thing. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Because and then be, eventually we'll because he's probably gonna end up going over Braun. Maybe they're going Maybe that's just the way to get Braun as a face again. I guess have, have Drew and Ziggler stick together. Yeah, unless they cheat to go over. That's probably Braun. what'll happen, and this way they can get Braun back yeah. on the right path. Yeah, that could be what they're going for. Yes, it's just, the whole Shield thing just kind of screws everything up well, as far as opponents go. It screws things. everything up literally. Yeah, it's true. Because and I mean, if, if they Braun goes face, who's he gonna? Also, if they continue to do this, the tag team titles are now in another feud that have nothing to do with well, right. Tag exactly, teams. and that's one of the things. That's why I expected them to turn Dolph on Drew mm-hmm. or Drew on Dolph, regardless, because mm-hmm. then you have the split. They drop the titles. And yeah, there's only like one that. title that should be in the feud right now. Right, and it's the Universal title. Yes, the I mean, IC I mean, title I mean, should have went to Kevin Owens, mm, although well, he's, hurt, he's hurt, so it doesn't. And apparently, well, his injury is much worse than. I guess he got both knees. Well, done. supposedly he's been dealing with this for a very long time. Yeah, I guess they said February, March is his estimated time of return. That's fine. He can come back. He can ruin no, something. It's just, it's. I have faith. No. If oh yeah, yeah. No. 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 If no. there's one wrestler who can go from zero to hero, it's Kevin Owens. No, I know. But now he was a bright spot on Raw, and now we are without him for five months. Oh, oh you're talking about the in the meantime. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. It's fair, because uh, Raw definitely dragged on Monday. That's for sure. Who oh, did it now? <laughs> did it now? Yes, it was how many? I I really really want to see how many times we've seen Seth versus you know Drew and Dean versus Dolph and any type of match. Hopefully in that. that's over. Yeah, yeah. Because but now yeah. what are the Shield gonna do? They could split up again. Not not like fight each other. No, I but know. Like go their separate ways because Roman's going to be dealing with Braun at least for a little bit. Yeah, but no, it's going to still got it's still got to continue if they plan on doing the Team Angle versus Team Corbin. I don't think that's going to happen the way they. I think it's going to be Team Angle versus Team Corbin with the Shield and Angle's corner. I don't think it's going to be Braun and them. It could be literally anybody else though, because yeah, Raw is again, full it'll, of heels. It'll probably be Authors of Pain, Bobby, Bobby Lashley, Lashley, and uh, Elias. Elias, yeah, and that would be five. Yeah, yeah. I guess then that's the true. Shield and Finn Balor. <laughs> I guess yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I, I honestly, and then we'll have Braun versus Drew or something like that in a handicap match yeah. against the two of them, or that. Yeah, yeah. Or they don't get involved at all. Yeah, it's just or I, or they'll have a Team Raw versus Team SmackDown match. Mm. And the that's three true. of them are in it. They fight constantly. That's the only reason why SmackDown wins. Yeah, I guess. I guess so. that's true. I, because I, this feud as a whole has been ca- catastrophic. As because it, it hasn't been terrible in terms of the way that like the matches are, right? But just in terms of storyline progression well, and everything. Had, yeah, that, and we've seen so much of it in the past. Yeah, because you took two people in Braun and Roman who've feuded in the past. Right. It was good, but now you're also adding them to a feud that's been going on technically right, right, since right. July, mm-hmm. I think, right? And Braun didn't need help when he was feuding with Roman originally, and he was fighting Seth and yeah. Dean as yep. well, uh-huh. and now all of a sudden he yep. needs backup, and it's yep. just... It just doesn't make much sense. It's true. So we're probably going to get Natalia, Bailey, and Sasha versus the Riot Squad at Evolution. Yes, that that would that would be the thing that makes sense because yeah. none of them are in the Battle Royal. Um, that and this is where Sasha and Bailey finally turn on each other, right? And we finally get that match. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. We've been saying that for a very long time now. Everybody's been making a joke about that. Yeah. But it would make sense to have another six woman yeah. tag, um, Sasha and Bailey and Natalia. Uh, I don't know if Natalia isn't. I know Sasha and Bailey aren't because I looked for them. What was that? Oh, in, in, the, in the graphic, mm. Natalia probably isn't either. I don't know. They posted a new one, like an expanded version of it, and I guess it had thirty eight women on it. Thirty. Thirty eight women on the poster, and I think it says over fifty. So, uh, specifically for the evolution, yeah, okay. Or Stephanie had said over fifty. Well, yeah, that's what she said the first time. No, I wasn't sure if you were, um, what's it called, uh, talking about for the battle royal or for the actual. Oh, 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 no, I was just talking about for the the show overall. <laughs> overall, yeah, this is the one I was looking at. Yeah, I don't remember. I saw it on Twitter earlier on. Yeah, the Riot Squad is also not on here. Yeah, but Tori Wilson is. 
But I mean, they could have really went with the women's tag titles. It's, I mean, where it seemed like it was going when we all of a sudden had a whole bunch of women that were gonna, tag teams. I was gonna say they're all teaming off. It yeah. could, it could happen theoretically yeah. speaking. And now they're just, but basically buying time with using mix match challenge stuff mm-hmm. on Raw. Yeah, and more so Raw than SmackDown. Well, it's, it's because Raw has all that time yeah. to fill. Well, yeah, it's true. That is true. Also, it it really seems like they're only doing the one. Uh, uh, Balor and Bailey against Ginger and Alicia. That's, That's like the one they keep on going back to. Um, and I don't think Ginger uh, or Alicia have come out on top once. <laughs> no, they <laughs> never it seems will. That way. Um, the only one who stands a little bit of a chance is Ginder. Alicia right. Fox is never going to go over. Yeah, because this this match was pretty quick. Balor versus Jinder. It was which we it, even saw two years ago when we went to a Monday Night Raw. It's true, and then <laughs> Jinder almost killed Balor. Yep, and then he became WWE champion. It's true. Um, um, so where, where do we think this uh, Lashley Finn feud is gonna go? Didn't Finn come out for Lashley? Lashley came out or after went, Finn won. That's right, right, right. That has nothing to do with Finn. That was to get heat on Lashley. I guess, but I think that they're gonna they're probably hinting at something. They could, but again, I think that's to get heat on Lashley. I guess. Um here's my issue Because well, this could just be again a mixed match challenge thing since they're yes. both in it. Um I think they're facing each other next week, if I'm not mistaken. Um I have a big problem because they did a great I didn't uh, have a big problem turn. With Lashley last week. Because right. all they needed to do was to have Leo Rush be annoying. <laughs> That's it. Nobody smells like Bobby. Nobody <laughs> looks like Bobby. Yeah. So <laughs> the turn was great. But now he's literally the same character. But Leo Rush is just being more annoying. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. So Lashley kind of looks him? awkward out there. Yeah. It just doesn't seem it's not why, doing anything for him. Why turn him heel for no reason? I That's my issue. Because all he did was squash Tyler Breeze. Yeah. Like what is the point? He's not going up against a like a top name, or he won't be going up against unless they have him face Roman again. Yeah. Which doesn't make any sense. No, no, no. So no. it's all all confusing. Yeah. Um, oh, we should probably mention the fact that there was two qualifying matches for the World Cup for the U.S. Open. Yeah, well, you see, oh, and God. I heard no, I heard a, a theory that kind of makes sense. Mm-hmm. That the reason why they're calling it a World Cup is because of the fact that um, they don't want to use the word king in Saudi Arabia, and this is really more of a king of the ring tournament, okay. the way it's been structured. Oh, yes, that's so. Fair. Since it's taking place out of the United States, and you call it a World Cup mm-hmm. because it's, I guess that's fair. So that would that would make sense to me. Like the whole reason why they call it that is because they wanted to want it to be a King of the Ring tournament, which would make sense. But the Saudi government wasn't a big fan of the idea of having a, oh, another God. king. Oh God! You know, oh, God so forbid. It makes they, sense though, right? <laughs> yeah, no, I guess so. Um, it's just like none of these guys need the rub. No, no, not at all. Because uh, before the night started, but I guess it was... that makes more sense if it's a best in the world rather than a king of the ring. Usually, the king of the ring was meant to showcase newer talent mm-hmm. that was going to get. Yeah, there's a... no new talent on this. No, because uh, all the new talents. Oh yeah, because it's all it's all been established now. Actually, it's uh, John Cena, um, Kurt Angle, mm-hmm. uh, Dolph Jeff. Ziggler, and Seth Rollins, mm-hmm. and then it's Jeff. Ray, Ray Mysterio, the Miz, the Miz, and Randy Orton. Yeah. So, who do you think is gonna win? Bunch of whiteies and Ray. Yes. Um, they're all American except for Ray Mysterio. So, yeah. Think the Big Show is gonna win? Big Show's not in it. Yeah, He's I not. Forgot. Yeah, he lost to Randy <laughs> he lost Orton. Lost to Randy Orton last week. Yeah, I forgot. Um, it's probably gonna be Mysterio. I don't know. I think they put Kurt. Uh, there's no reason to though. Yeah, I, I realize that. There's no reason for any of them to win. I guess that's true. Because they're doing it, what, it's a tournament in one night, the whole thing. Mm-hmm. So it's going to eat up a whole lot of time. It's true. Um, Maybe a lot of roll-ups. Probably. Yeah. I wonder how many matches are actually going to take place on that. I don't know. 
we don't know even where it's taking place. That's true. It's parts <laughs> unknown. Um, it's probably how long was uh, the Greatest Royal Rumble? Like it was like eight five, hours no, long. Yeah, it was like six. It was like a two-hour pre-show, I think. Was right? it? I think I don't so. Know. I, don't remember. I thought it started at eleven and ended at like five. So I don't like, remember. It was long. It could have been that long. Yeah. So uh, let's see. Uh, Corbin put Angle. In a handicap match. That was mm-hmm. dumb the way they did that, too. Because they Angle said he didn't have his gear, so I guess he put on the Conquistador gear again. Apparently. But they had someone else go out to the ring, get beat up by the Authors of Pain. Mm-hmm. And Drake Maverick goes, wait a second. That doesn't look like Kurt Angle. Yeah. This man's got a neck. And he's moving around <laughs> better. Yeah, right? So Corbin... <laughs> Somebody comes, said that. He's like, Kurt Angle hasn't been able to stand up straight in, you know, 10 years yeah. or something like that. So <laughs> Longer than that. Yeah, so... Uh, Corbin comes out and he's watching the match all excited and then they find out that it's not Kurt Angle underneath the match after the they beat him up after, after the match is over um and then Corbin gets an angle slam yeah. on the, on the mm-hmm. uh, entrance ramp um, so it's kind of dumb well I guess we should talk about this too we, we did mention it the whole Ronda Nikki promo thing mm. um well I don't know why they went that way well with the jealousy well, kind of? I mean, the whole Cena thing and everything oh, like that. Because it's, it's funny. Yes. It just really plays into the stereotype of wrestling. Uh, it's just yeah. very lowbrow stuff, you know? Kind of, I guess. But at the same time, they're trying to... It was just so scripted, too. Oh, absolutely. But they're trying to get heat on the Bellas mm-hmm. because they came back as big baby faces. So they kind of have to really try mm-hmm. to get it the other way. And that's a good way to get people behind Ronda is by having that low brass stuff because we are classless wrestling fans hey you know i guess so so yeah don't worry all the uh, news outlets have been talking about the low class wrestling fans yep mm-hmm. wwe going to saudi arabia exactly so well, uh, maybe we don't even know but yeah it was it was all right nah. it wasn't that interesting ronda wanted to fight the bellas obviously didn't so they got security mm-hmm. and then that was pretty much it yep um, we got yet another DX and Brothers of Destruction package. Um, so it'll never end. Retirement home. It'll never end. Yep. And I mean, that was really it for Raw. And Apollo showed up on Raw. Oh, yes, he did. That's he, right. He beat up Elias. I think he kicked him. <laughs> That's good, close enough. <laughs> right, he picked him up. He was holding him. Oh, yeah, he did hold him over yeah. his head. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. So. I, I don't know. You think Apollo's ever going to get a break? Uh, it depends, because he's not, he hasn't been on Raw in a very long time. No, but I think this is just going to backfire, because people still love to cheer, cheer for Elias. I guess so, it's possible. <clears throat> I don't know, we'll see. Yeah. Um, I think that's everything. We talked about the Trish and Lita stuff. I'd say that's all the important stuff, but there was really no important stuff. No, definitely not. Um, because again, everything pretty much for Crown Jewel was made official. Yeah, Every- well... I guess I mean, for the, most the, the part. triple threat match in the tournament is the only thing that yeah, we actually the tournament's know about. gonna be like eight matches. Yeah. No, it'll be four, five. It was eight people, right? The eight people, so yeah, that's four. four. Seven. Seven matches. Yeah. Okay, that's not that bad. <laughs> Some pay per views we don't even get seven matches. No, that's not. Uh, I guess that is true. <laughs> anyway, moving on. But I guess you know, there is no women matches so. yeah and they'll all be short so the qualify at least the first round will all be short yeah the final might be a long i know yeah i know but i just like there's not many people besides the miz and ziggler and who are really gonna take a quick pin uh yeah, it's true mm. well you know john cena is obviously not oh, yeah. not against Probably. doing it so if he lost, oh, he did it to the Undertaker. Yeah, if, it's a little different. If they if they put it put him up against like Rollins mm-hmm. in the first round, I'd be okay with it. Although he has a good chance of winning anyway. Who Cena? Cena. Yeah. yeah. Anything's that possible. All right, let's talk about the monumental SmackDown 1000 that took place on Tuesday night. Yeah. Um. So I think this was the first time in quite some time that smackdown actually beat out raw in the ratings well it was but it was a smackdown 1000 show so it should be expected and the fact that they announced like evolution they mm-hmm. announced that Rey mysterio is coming back they yeah. announced yeah. It's all this still stuff. something yeah 
So, but again, this was a show they were trying to fit into two hours. So while getting two matches for the uh, qualifying, qualifi- right? We had two matches. Yeah, yeah, right. And then a title match or well, a tag one title of them match. didn't last as long as the other one. No, did. no. So, uh, but yeah, the show opened with Truth TV, mm-hmm. which was fantastic. Yes. And apparently Truth thinks that the show's been going on for 10 years or something like that. Mm. All right. So bef- while we're on the topic of Truth, um, so you watched Mixed Match Challenge both weeks, right? I did not watch it this week. No. Oh, you didn't watch it? No. Oh, anyway, it doesn't really matter. I watched it the week before. Okay. So when Truth kept saying that Carmella was going to face Ric Flair. Yeah. They should have had a segment with Ric Flair and R-Truth backstage or something like that in Carmella. Suppose because what? this this week uh, they had a backstage segment on Mixed Match Challenge where um, Truth was like, "You were supposed to face Ric Flair, but then he sent his daughter out to do his dirty work or something like that." Well, the thing is, um, but they cut a lot of crap. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I think they had a lot of time crunches, probably because Batista took so goddamn long to get out what he wanted to say. Yeah, because there was an Ellsworth segment so that was supposed to happen. Mm-hmm. So. Because that that segment as a whole wasn't bad. The evolution, Bat- yeah. yeah. But Batista just took so much time to say one thing. It was not. It was not good. True. Um, but anyway, going back to the Truth TV. Yes. So, so before they announce anybody, they have a dance break, obviously. obviously. And Which Byron, the crowd loved. Oh, of course. And then they ask for it again. Yeah, Byron loves it too. Mm-hmm. He wishes every every minute was a dance break or something stupid like that. So uh, they're supposed to call out their guest, and I'm like, I wonder who it could be. It could be anybody. It's true. Stephanie comes out. Everybody starts booing her. Yep. And then she starts talking, and then Shane comes out, mm-hmm. and she's like, oh, of course you like him better than me. Yep. And then uh, Vince comes out. Everyone goes nuts. And then Vince goes, you know what we need? <laughs> we need a dance break. And that's they do the dance thing, and it was, it that's pretty so much funny. how the segment ends, right? Online, somebody posted, all right, Vince, so where is the crown jewel going to be? And then he goes, dance break, and then they do that to, get, <laughs> to avert the question. That's funny. Yeah. So, But yeah, it was, it was a fun way to open the show, that's yeah, it for was, sure. Yeah, exactly. That's what it should be. It's yeah. Celebration. And as we said in the past, we need more Truth TV. Because mm-hmm. the, the two of them are great together. It actually works very yeah, well. Definitely. Um, Gives them something to do. Yeah. We had AJ and Daniel Bryan versus the Usos. Surprisingly First enough. time in a while we've seen the Usos wrestle. Yeah. We're together seeing anyway. Usos all over the place. That's true. Um, but this was just to further the AJ-Daniel Bryan mm-hmm. match. Yeah, get friction. Yep. And they lost to the Usos of all people. Yeah, yeah it was fine. I know, it's, it's not It's not like not they faced the Colognes. Yeah, it's not a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I think, what was it, that Daniel Bryan accidentally hits AJ, mm-hmm. allowing him to get super kicked by both the I Usos think so, and get yeah. pinned. So, yep. And that's, that, was uh, that. that was about yeah. it. And AJ didn't take the pin, which is always good. Champ should stay strong. It's true. Um, and then we had the uh, Evolution segment that we yes. talked about. Oh, which went on forever. It and did. Ever. They, and uh, ever. They, all, they all took turns talking. Um, Ric Flair was told to keep it in his pants. Yes, that was... <laughs> It's a kid's show, it's apparently. Kid's show. But yeah, Batista took the mic and he rambled on for a while, saying how grateful and how much he loved wrestling. Well, there was a big thing with Batista not getting an invite originally to SmackDown 1000. Really? Well, yeah, I think so. On That's Twitter, weird. he had posted about it. And I think he wanted to come back for a run, too. Yeah. And he contacted WWE and they just. Well, I think said. he's been on and off, like talking to mm-hmm. Triple H about it supposedly yeah, i think i heard in an interview it seems like they planted the seeds for oh something. absolutely probably a wrestlemania because he ended with the only thing you haven't done to triple h is beat me mm-hmm. which i guess is true Mm-mm. i went back to look and i couldn't really find I any. Know, somebody on the reddit found somewhere where he posted walked. where the triple h pedigreeing batista and pinning him i don't know if it could have right. been a tag match or something like that yeah either way i don't know the context irrelevant yeah you know that it's wwe history. it doesn't matter yeah it so, does. So, uh, so we're gonna assume that we're gonna get that at WrestleMania this year, mm-hmm. which is fine. Um, and then we got the next qualifying match: Rusev versus The Miz, that lasted all of what a minute, something like. Yeah, that. Aiden English jumps on the rope, grabs Rusev, allows Miz to roll up Rusev, mm-hmm. and then he wins. And that was that. The Miz um... high fives Aiden English as he's leaving, <laughs> and then Aiden and Rusev fight outside. 
Well, Lana kicked Aiden in the balls mm-hmm. first, and then Rusev started throwing him yep. around all over the place. It's true. That was it. Yep. Neither of them got entrances, by the way. No. This match kind of just... There was a bunch of non-entrances. The match was the just night. going on, I think, when the they came back from commercial. No, I think it was just starting, but... Either way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was definitely no entrances. Yeah. Um, then we have the cutting edge mm-hmm. with... Uh, Becky and Charlotte. Becky comes out Mainly first. Becky. <laughs> yeah. And Edge says he's very disappointed and she wishes he wishes that she wouldn't act like this. So dumb. Yeah. They should have just had Christian and them do, do something. Stupid. Go out for a five second pose or yeah. something like that. Yeah, I know. Just something fun. This was so dumb. Yeah. What did they, like what were they planning on accomplishing with this? Nothing. Becky got cheered. It's and true. then said, Don't hurt your neck because you're leaving the ring. That was mean. <laughs> It was but funny. Me. Yeah, it was funny. Uh, uh, every but, time Charlotte got mentioned, she got booed. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Charlotte comes out and they fight, and that's about it. That's it. Yeah. All that right. is it. Then we have the tag team title match that apparently Paige was so inspired by having old the GMs there. Um, Vicky Guerrero, mm-hmm. uh, Teddy Long, and John Laurinaitis. Yeah. That's what the Bella's stepdad, right? And stepfather? Yeah. 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 Um. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, it's funny how some things. This work out. match, as in the past, there was a New Day commentary table, but instead of the New Day being on the table, <laughs> they decided to have King and Booker T do it, and it was the most amazing thing in the world. <laughs> because Jerry, one of them was sleeping pretty much. Because well, was it? No. Lola? Here's here's what it was. Neither of them. Were to- they were told, I guess, not to talk unless they were instructed to. Right. So they're t- the two of them are just sitting there staring blankly at the ring. And then, yeah, Booker <laughs> goes and taps on King. And right? then King just starts randomly talking like an old man. Yeah, just going then, off on something. Yeah, like, like it wasn't even obvious that they were missing their cue. It was great. So I don't know if they they cut to them too early or if they weren't paying attention. I don't know. It happened three times, I think. (laughs) Something like that. Where they completely missed their cue. It was fantastic because of how dumb it was. Yeah. Like, why even bother bringing them back? Neither of them are synonymous with SmackDown. Oh, they should have had, like, Cole and Taz or someone like that. That would make more sense. But, you know, whatever. So, that aside... (laughs) Oh, no, I mean, the biggest point, you know, thing that happened was that the Big Show came out and... For his, no reason! <laughs> ...had his thousandth uh, heel turn. Yeah, because the bar were beating up the New Day. They were all down on the outside of the ring. And then the Big Show comes up and... <laughs> Look, he kind of chases the bar a little bit. They leave, go around this way. No, and then he, he didn't chase them. Well, he they just ran walked, away. Yeah, he just, he just walked yeah. toward them. He picks up Kofi, throws him through the announce table. The Big E's like... <gasps> yeah. <laughs> and then... Uh, Seamus hits a bro kick and that's it. That's it. Like why? Yeah. What is the purpose? We're gonna get Big E versus the Big Show. Big E versus the Big Show. Yeah. Or now they're the Big Bar. Yeah. That's. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. Why, why take the titles off the New Day for no reason? I don't know. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> Just so they can win it back and have another title reign. I guess that it would it would make sense. Yeah. Yeah um because now the bar are five-time champs too <laughs> and they didn't they uh, they've only been a team for two years didn't they take it off the new day on, yeah they did on they're the Ross? ones who uh, broke their streak yeah, yeah. <laughs> whatever <laughs> whatever uh, oh um, man yeah, then, this is a weird main event it was Rey mysterio versus nakamura and not just weird because it just kind of you know was a match a big a big match that could have happened and it was just thrown together yeah but it, it just it seemed like an awkward match a little bit it just didn't seem like that like shinsuke's never wrestled a guy smaller than him well that shinsuke's <laughs> also used to wrestling a little more slow pace yeah and more hard hitting i did really love ray's slide out of the ring oh the <laughs> head first slide yeah the splash he landed perfectly on him that was great it was beautiful but man he can move around yeah for an old guy too yeah, i mean Since i saw him at all in, in he looked good no. Since it, that's 89? what they said. That's what they said. Shit. Yeah. So, it's insane. Um, I know his son is training to be a wrestler. Or, Dominic? Yeah. Oh, man. He's going to be in a ladder match against uh, Chavo Guerrero. There you go. Because um, Chavo, I'm sure, is still wrestling. Probably. I'm pretty Somewhere. sure he is, yeah. Anyway. It's on Lucha Underground, honestly. Probably. Um, that makes sense. But, 
Yeah, I think he was training with Lance Storm or someone. I don't remember. I saw there being mentions of it on Twitter. Insane. But it's crazy how much how Dominic's like six foot or something like that. Well, Ray's not as short as he's portrayed, I think. 5'2". Really? Wow. Okay, never mind. Yeah, is it 5'2"? Or... Yeah, I'm it's pretty sure he's 5'2". Yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. Um, anyway. But I mean, you know, the, the, the ultimate underdog is definitely the uh, correct words. Yeah. Uh, anyway, he end up, ends up beating Nakamura, obviously. Yeah. He hit, hits the 619, everyone's favorite move. And then the weird frog splash, because it looked like he was going for something else and almost slipped off the rope and just hit a frog splash. Well, it makes sense. he's a professional. Yeah. He is good, and he knows what he's doing. I like the rest of those jerks on the WWE. <laughs> Um, a lot of people do look lost when things go awry. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. It's, well, because everything's so scripted. Mm-hmm. They don't know like, what the what, hell they're doing. What do I do? There's no improv there. What do I do? Uh, but, I mean, I don't know. This Probably my... just should have found a different opponent for him. Than Nakamura? I mean, he's a U.S. You know, the U.S. champion. Uh, Obviously, I... Ray was going to get the rub coming my back. My thing was the fact that they should have had him up against The Miz and had Rusev versus Nakamura. That's what they should have done. Um because but, they wanted they wanted the titles in the tournament i think right. or at least the the people yeah. to contend for the tournament yeah but i mean again now the ic title is not going to be defended because seth's in the tournament right yeah but that wasn't my concern i meant they wanted them to feel like oh they were it was an important, important match to because be i in. gotcha so it made sense for nakamura and seth mm-hmm. to both be in the in the right. tournament at the same time it wouldn't make any sense for Nakamura to win. So do you... All right, so I know this is completely off topic, but do you think that Drew is going to cost Braun that triple threat match? It's possible. He's not doing anything yeah. for it, probably. So it's not all the realm of possibilities. It could take him out, and it could be between Braun and... I mean, Brock and uh, Roman. Which, funny enough, Braun is the mix between Brock and Roman. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Um, All right, what were we talking about again? Uh, well, Mysterio wins. Mm. Then the the everything. Yeah, goes there was black. this awkward moment where Ray was like, "I don't know what he, to he do." He was celebrating. There's time to fill. Am yeah. I supposed to yeah. finish the show? Oh wait, here comes the Undertaker. Yep. So I'm thinking, oh, okay, maybe he's doing something with Mysterio. Nope. <laughs> they they show the the dark ring and like with the flash of light. There's no one in the ring, so mm. obviously. Mysterio left, so I'm like, okay, it has nothing to do with it. Undertaker takes about two minutes to get down to the ring, <laughs> and he says he's got three words for DX, rest in peace, mm-hmm. which is the same exact thing that him and Kane said on Monday, on Monday in night the boiler room. <laughs> in the boiler room where they didn't even need to bother going to the ring. So why, oh why, have this happen on Raw and on SmackDown? Makes no sense. I don't know. They could have very easily had it take place just on SmackDown. It would have made more sense. Not That's that it fair. made sense the way they did it anyway, because yeah. he came out literally just to say one thing. But whatever. Well, I think it was supposed to be longer originally. It but was. Batista Doesn't had to eat matter. up all that time. Doesn't matter. Um, well, between Batista and that opening segment, I would imagine. I guess that's true. But that probably ran. But again, tell Vince to get out of here. Well, obviously not. <laughs> and we know you're Vince loves tell our the, truth. They're so. not going to tell the three of them to yeah. get out. Um, yeah, right. Uh, I don't even remember what I was going to say now. The Undertaker, the Undertaker has been overexposed lately. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, while it was decent, it wasn't where it could have been the whole show. I mean, we didn't get The Rock. No, but I think that was he's, upsetting. He's kind of annoyed Done. with WWE, I think, with the whole Saudi Arabia thing. I would because, imagine so. Yeah, because, I mean, he tweeted in. That was about it. Mm-hmm. Um, wow, it's just, yeah, so much more they could have done. I mean, granted, some of the guys that were huge spotlights for SmackDown are no longer with us, like Eddie. Eddie. Yeah. Um, well, Benoit. <laughs> he wasn't really SmackDown, though. Who, Eddie? Yeah. No, Benoit. Oh, yeah. Benoit was on SmackDown yeah. at some point, but he was more... Brock played a huge role in SmackDown. Brock did. That was a shame. He's just... They showed him actually on a TV show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. But yeah, Brock... Cena wasn't which... there? He, he did a he video did the, thing. Yeah. But... I don't think we're really going to see much of Cena. No, I know. He's so. living in China now or something yeah. like that. Because uh, supposedly Cena's only going to be doing international shows. Yeah, it was something I like heard that. Something That's like what that. I heard as well. Yeah. 
which makes no sense, but whatever. Whatever, indeed. <laughs> it's like, I'm in some trouble in the U.S., so I can't go back there. <laughs> Imagine if that was actually the case. That'd be pretty funny. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. That's it? Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, yep. so that was SmackDown 1000 and another edition of Monday Night Raw. Uh-huh. Um, so we are, what, one a little over a week away from Evolution? Yes. And a little over... Two weeks. Two weeks from Crown Jewel, I yeah, guess. Yeah, they're very close together. Yeah. And then Survivor Series is at some point in the it's month. It's uh, towards the end. Yeah. And we're going to find out if Starcade is actually a nope, televised event. it is event. not. It isn't? No. Okay. They, Or at least I saw a post about it. Things could change. But yeah. as far as I know, it is not being televised. Rats. But uh, so that was uh, episode 16. Yes. So, yeah. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.